Okay, so today we're looking at a scripture that says, who is the Chakran? Who but the one making denial and claiming that Moshiach ben Dovid is not the Mashiach, but that somebody else is. You know, there have been thousands of dead Brooklyn rabbis. Why in the world anyone would choose one and say, this is the Messiah, this is the king, this is the anointed, this is the Christos. Uh, this, this goes beyond our comprehension. Jewish people have been easily misled. Sheep without a shepherd. But I want to show you a Jewish man who wrote a letter. He says, what was from the origin? What was from Boratius? He says, what we, that's we Shalahim, we Shalahim have heard what we have seen with our eyes, we are eyewitnesses, what we have gazed upon, what we have touched with our hands concerning, and he, here he, he says, the Devar HaChayim, the word of life. Yes. Yes. The Bar Enosh, who was with the Father. The Elohim Ha'av. He is also the Zunfunder Oibishter, who is called the Devar Hashem in Mishle chapter 30, verse 4, and other references. This one, that's who they saw, that's who they gazed at, and that's who they touched because they were witnesses of not a funeral, not a an Ohel memorial gravesite in Old Matfiori Cemetery, but the living savior, the Goalenu. Elokeinu, Moreinu, Adonainu, Moshiach, Rebbe Melaka Moshiach. Now, if you want to talk about a controversy, this is the controversy. And the Chaim was made manifest, and we have seen, and we bear witness to, and we announce to you the Chaim, the Elokeinu. Kim, the Elo Eloke Chaim, the living God, the Chaye Olam, which was present with the Father, with Elohim Ha'av. Listen, this is Hashem, not a monad that is unscriptural, but one in his underlying being, Echad and Meshulash in the Kedusha of his, of his, of, in the Kedusha, in the Kedusha HaMeshulash, in the distinctions of his holiness. And this was made manifest to us, Shalohim. So these are real Shilohim friends. They are witnesses of the resurrection. They were chosen for that purpose. But there would be 12 standees, stand-ins for the 12 tribes. And that they would be witnesses of Haye Olam. The resurrection of Haye Olam. The resurrection of the dead. The Tahiyas Hamasim. Now, why is this so hard for you to believe? Didn't Abraham, when he was as good as dead, become the father of many nations and the father 
of the child of the promise? Weren't there two children in Rivka's womb? But one became the father of Israel. Weren't there 12 sons of Israel? Didn't they go into a kind of enslavement and death in Egypt? Did they not come out in a great resurrection when they crossed the Red Sea? Did not the lamb, the Pesach lamb, the Korban Pesach, did not his blood purchase their redemption and bring them out in a great exodus? Did not the Jewish people go into the exile, the Golas, in 586, and yet weren't they resurrected? And didn't they build the temple when they came back? And wasn't the Kohen Gadol who rebuilt that temple named Yeshua, Yeshua ben Yehoshadak? And didn't Zechariah come up to him and say, your name, Yeshua, is the Tzemach Mashiach? And didn't the Jewish people go into the exile again in 70 CE? And didn't they come back from the exile in 1948? I was five years old. But that miracle happened during my lifetime. Now, if God can raise a whole nation from the dead, why don't you believe he could bring he could raise from the dead one one Moshiach ben David to fulfill Psalm 1610, which says his body will not see Shachat. If you can believe that somebody who's moldering at Old Montefiore Cemetery is the Mashiach, you should be able to believe that someone who was raised from the from the graveyard is the Mashiach. And uh, what we have seen and heard, we also announce to you. And that's so that you may also have the uh, the Hasidic Hiskashras with us and our Hiskashras is indeed with Elohim Ha'am and with the Zunfu Neroibister and we write these things to you so that our joy might be made full now he wrote this as an old man but he'd already written a Masura Sage Ola, and he was ready to write the book of Revelation on the Isle of Patmos. Now, at the time he was doing this writing, all the other Shulahim had been martyred, but he was able to finish his course. And you see this? Manuscript on the screen. This is the Orthodox Hasidic Yiddish Brit Hadashah. The book your rabbi tells you you cannot read. It's halakhically forbidden. Why is he afraid that you would read it? Is he afraid you might come to faith and fall out of his spell and no longer be under his thumb? This is the message that we have heard from him, and we announce to you that God is light, and in him there is no darkness whatsoever. There's no sheker. There's no falsehood. There's no shakran. There's no liar. There's no lie. There's no sheker in God. If you say that anyone else is the Mashiach and you deny that he is the Mashiach, you are a liar, my friend. And who is a bigger liar than you? Now, you know, somebody lied and said Columbus discovered America when actually it was discovered by a Viking man several years later, a few hundred years later, actually. But that lie is not anything compared to the lie that you would actually falsify the saving name so that 
people could not call on the name of the Lord. What a terrible thing to do. What a horrible thing to do. This will be judged very severely in the Olam Haba. But if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have his his, his, his kashras with one another. And the Pesach, Korban Pesach Kapora of the Lamb purges us from all of our sins. I'm talking about the Moshiach Lamb, the Lamb led to the slaughter, Isaiah 53, 7. If we say we have no sin, we lead ourselves astray. If we say our ribby has no sin, we lead ourselves astray. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just so that he may forgive us our sins and purge us of all iniquity. If we say we have not sinned, or if we say our ribby has not sinned, we make him a liar. And his devar hachayim is not in us. My friend, your ribby is a sinner who needs to be saved, and you are a sinner who needs to be saved. And everyone under God's green trees, everyone under God's blue heaven is a sinner. I write these things so that you do not sin. And if anyone sins, he has, we have an advocate. We have a, an advocate with the Father. Hallelujah. There is an advocate. Hallelujah. There's an advocate with the Father. And I pray right now that, that everyone listening to this to this YouTube video will find that advocate. Because I'm a sinner, you're a sinner, we need a savior. And there is a savior. He is our Melich Yosher, he is our advocate. And Job saw him. And he said, oh, if I only had an advocate in heaven. And he is an atonement for our sins, not only for ours, but for those of the whole Olam Hazeh. And by this, we know that we have known him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I've known him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, a chakron. Now, tonight, I'm going to talk about liars. You know, in Gehinom, there is a nether darkness. Nether, the word nether, N-E-T-H-E-R, means under. There's an under darkness, a nether darkness. This is where the Malachim that have sinned are chained until the Yom Hadin. And I'm talking about something even lower than Gehinom. Don't talk to me about crown heights. Talk to me about crown depths. Talk, me, talk to me about the nether crown heights, the under crown heights, the crown depths, where a big lie is going out to the whole world. I bind that lie. I bind it. And I throw it back into Hasatan's face. You are a liar, Satan. You are the father of lies. And you have generated a lie. And now this lie is going everywhere. And this lie is dragging people into hell. Because there's only one name under heaven whereby we must be saved. And that name I'm lifting up right now. And no other name. And we're talking about liars. We're talking about crown depths. D-E-P-T-H-S. Where a lie goes forth. But whoever should keep his word, in him the love of God, the love of Hashem has been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. Whoever says that he abides in him ought himself 
to walk just as he walked. So you can find a real believer. You can tell a real believer by whether he's walking according to the commandments. Beloved ones, I'm writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you heard. Then again, I am writing you a new commandment, which is true in him and in you because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Hallelujah. And what is the true light? The true light is the menorah that was lit in a Jerusalem grave. And that light shines in the darkness to the whole world. That Moshiach ben Dovid, whose body could not see Shahat, has destroyed death and brought immortality to light. If you consider yourself unworthy of eternal life, you can believe in a false Messiah and go where he went. But my friend, God doesn't want you to do that. He's not willing that any should perish. I'm trying to say this in a loving way. I am angry at the devil. I'm not angry at you. I mean, I believed many lies before I came to faith. So I would be a hypocrite if I looked down my nose at you because I'm a, I'm a sinner who was saved by grace. And there's only one way that you can be saved, and that is by the hint of Hashem. And I'm praying that that will happen. But it won't happen unless you give up idolatry. And unless the man is the Baranosh incarnate standing up alive from the dead, he is a human person unworthy of worship. Daniel chapter 7 verses 13 and 14 and Daniel chapter 3 verse 18 says that the Mashiach is not an idol and he is worthy of worship and all peoples will worship him. But if you have a dead Mashiach, then you are uh, uh, a, an idol worshiper, a, a Vodas Zara idol worshiper. Whoever loves his brother abides in the light. And in him there is no occasion for faltering. But who, whoever hates his brother is in darkness. If you hate the Goyim, if you can't forgive them, if you can't show love to them, then you're still walking in darkness. The darkness has blinded your eyes. Your sins have been forgiven through his name. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. And there is no other name through which your sins can be forgiven. So if you are bandying around another name... You're actually distracting people from salvation. You're like a child on the street. The fire department shows up and they, they say, wait a minute, isn't there supposed to be a fire in this building? And you say, oh, no, no, it's, it's down the street. And then the building burns down and the people in it uh, die. And it's on you because when the Savior showed up, you directed people to a false savior, a Goel Sheker. I am writing to you fathers because you've known him from the beginning. I'm writing to you young men because you have vanquished Hasatan. I'm writing to you little children because you've known the father. I'm writing to you fathers because you've known him from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the Devar HaChayim, the Devar Hashem, abides in you, and you have vanquished the devil. Do not love the Olam Hazeh or the things within the Olam Hazeh. If anyone loves the Olam Hazeh, the love of Elohim Ha'av is not within him, because all that is in the Olam Hazeh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the vain glory of living, of 
of walking in this world, the manner of, of your living in this world, all that vainglory. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Are you, are you Jewish? Oh, oh you, are you Jewish? Oh, wonderful. Would you take this, please? Would you take this picture? Would you look at this man? Would you, would you light this menorah? Would you, uh, excuse me, are you Jewish? Uh, this is, this is vainglory, my friend. This is vainglory. You say, if people do enough mitzvahs, the Mashiach will come. That's not true. When he came, there weren't any mitzvahs. Mashiach came to a world that was dying, to a Jewish world under Roman domination, to a world of prostitutes and Roman barbarians. He came to sinners. He said, healthy people don't need a doctor. I have come to seek and to save that which was lost. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him, but to as many as, that, as did receive him, to them he gave the takef, the, the, the right, the takef, to be called the Elohim Hashem. Do not love the world or the things in the world. And the Olam Hazet is passing away. All messianic pretenders have already passed away. All prophets have passed away. There's only one person who stands up alive from the cemetery. His name, Yehoshua. In Aramaic, Yeshua. His full name, Yeshua ben Dovid. Who is he? He is the Moshiach, fulfilling of Shalom ben Dovid, pierced and hanging on a tree. Second Shmuel, chapter 18. The herald can run and announce peace. Musar Shalomenu Allah, the, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. He was pierced. Those three darts that hit Av Shalom. Uh, the spirit of supplication. They will look upon me whom they have pierced and mourn for him as one mourns for an only son. My friend, because all that is in the Olam Hazeh is passing away as well as its lust. But whoever does the will of Elohim Ha'av will abide forever. This is the last hour, and just as you have heard that the anti moshiach is coming, we're not talking just about the one from Austria that committed suicide in 1945. We're talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. We're talking about every person that, that hated Israel, that persecuted the Jews, we're talking about every false Moshiach who leads the people astray or who destroys the people with a false Masurus Hageola. And just as you have heard that anti Moshiach is coming, many anti Moshiachs have arisen even now. Therefore, we know this is the last hour. The false prophets, the false teachers, they went out from us. Yes, they went out from us, but they did not come from us. For if they had come from us, they would have remained with us. So that is, so that it might be made manifest that none of them at all comes from us, they went out from us. That was to show they weren't of us. We have an unction from the Ruach HaKodesh. We have Da'as. By knowledge of him, my righteous servant will justify many. 
we have a soul saving full knowledge of who he is we know him he has saved us he came to us he died for us personally he died for me philip have you been with me so long and you still don't know me he who has seen me has seen elohim ha'al i know him i did not know him but now i know him now and if you receive him tonight you will know him i have written to you not because you do not know ha'emes because you do know ha'emes and no lie no sheker comes from the truth so if you're preaching sheker my friend you don't have the emes you don't have the derek emes so I'm asking you tonight in the name of Moshek Ben Dovid to stop preaching Sheker, to stop preaching a non Moshiach as Moshiach. I'm asking you, I'm, I'm pleading with you for your own soul's sake that you would stop this. Who is the liar except the one who denies that Yeshua ben David is the Moshiach. If you deny that he is the Moshiach, then you're going to get just what you deserve, a dead Moshiach moldering in the grave, and you will join him in the place of death in Sheol, and you will await the resurrection, and then you will stand before Moshiach ben David, and then you will be cast into Gehinom and the lake of fire. That's what the scriptures teach. I did not write this. If you want to get mad at me, you can. But I would suggest get mad at the Bible uh, and try to sweep the sand off the beach. Try to collect every Bible in the world. Uh, right now, the American Bible Society and all the other Bible societies, including the Artist for Israel International Bible Society, are translating the Bible for all the languages of the world something like 3,000 down and 3,000 to go. Go out and collect all those, stop all those translators, and uh, take your wrath out on them. Because this, I'm, I'm reading this from the Bible. I'm not making this up. It says, no one who denies the Zunfun Reubister has Hashem. The one who confesses the Zun Funderoibisher has Hashem. So you don't even have Hashem. You, you don't have Elohim Ha'al. You don't have the Zun Funderoibisher. You don't have the Bar Enosh. You don't have salvation. Exactly what do you have? You have a few fleeting months or years in crown depths. And then having uh, entertained a lie and sent it out to the ends of the earth, you will then go to meet your maker. Your spirit will return to Hashem. Your, your neshama will, will uh, return to Hashem. And then you will be judged because you have entertained a sh uh, the shakran, sheker. The liar's falsehood. Who is a bigger liar than the one who denies the Tahiyas Hamasim of Moshiach ben Dovid? Yohanan looked in the grave and saw the Takrahim. The Takrahim had collapsed like a deflated balloon. The Mitznepet head wrapping was neatly folded up like someone had dematerialized, stood up folded his pajamas and set them aside and then dematerialized again and began to appear materializing and dematerializing in the upper room in the Galilee uh, to different people individually to over 500 at one time over a period of 40 days so that when those Shalahim stood up on Shavuos filled with the Holy Spirit drunk with the power of God and completely fearless to preach the Basura Saga Allah, 
3,000 people came to faith and the Galilean fishermen caught 3,000 souls who would otherwise have been in the lake of fire. And my friend, this was a greater fishing expedition than anything they'd ever done on the, on the, uh, on the Galilean oh. lake. Hallelujah. As for you, let what you have heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you have heard from the beginning abides in you, you will also abide in the Zunfunder Oyster and in the Elohim Ha'ab. And this is the promise that he has promised us. Haye Olam. Hallelujah. My friend, do you realize what you're giving up? You're giving up Haye Olam. You can go uh, to any dead rabbi, uh, to any dead rabbi's kever, his oho, whether it's in the Ukraine or in the former Soviet Union, or whether it's in Brooklyn, whether it's in Old Montefiore Cemetery, you can go there, you can say prayers, you can uh, hang around an unclean cemetery where Kohanim are not even supposed to go. You could do that, but what good is it going to do you? You forfeited Haye Olam. His grave is empty. He has proven that he's alive. And not only that, these Shulamim did miracles wherever they went. They raised the dead. I don't hear of anybody uh, raising the dead in Crown Heights. I don't even hear of a Moshiach being raised from the dead. I have written these things to you in regard to those who are leading you astray. You see, you are leading people astray, and this letter is for you. This is an Igrat Kodesh. This is uh, one of the uh, Igrat Kodesh uh, letters. As for you, the unction that you receive from him remains within you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. We have the Ruach HaKodesh anointing. Hallelujah. Rather, as his unction teaches you about all things, and is true, and is no lie. Hallelujah. You must abide in him. Not in some false Mashiach, but in him. Just as he has taught you. Hallelujah. Abide in me and let my words abide in you. And you can ask what you will and it will be done for you. And now little children abide in him so that when he is made manifest, we may have confidence and not be driven from him by shame at the coming of the Lord, the Bias HaMoshiach. If you know that he is righteous, he is a tzaddik, you know that everyone who practices righteousness has been born from him. See what kind of love Elohim Ha'ab has given us so that we might be called Yeladim of Hashem. And we are. Therefore, the Olam Hazed does not know us. It doesn't recognize us because it doesn't know him. It didn't know him. It didn't recognize him. Beloved ones, now we are yellow deem of Hashem and what we shall be has not yet been made apparent. We know that when he appears, we will be like him. You see, he modeled the resurrection body for us for 40 days. Then he appeared to a Jews for Judaism uh, persecutor, an anti-missionary named Rav Shaul, who was a student of the Tana Gamliel, Rabban Gamliel. He appeared to him and he modeled the resurrection body, the body that we're going to have. It was like he took it out for a trial run to show us what it's like. And they touched this body. They examined this body with their hands, with their eyes. That's how, that's how he starts the letter. What was from the origin, what we've heard, what we've seen with our eyes, gazed upon and our hands have touched. The Devar Hashem, the Mashiach, 
the resurrected Mashiach. Uh, this is this is what we're preaching to you, what we saw, what we experienced. And that and that's what we're gonna be like him. We're gonna be like him. We're going to get his body. My friend, if you deny him, that body will not be given to you, that resurrection body. I'm talking about the glorious spiritual body that was modeled for the Shulachim in the upper room. You will not get that. Just as your, your Mashiach doesn't even have it himself, you won't have it. It wasn't modeled for you by him because he doesn't have it to model it. What a, what a terrible calamity. It's enough to make you weep. I could go off somewhere and weep a bucket of tears, a barrel of tears. How could Israel be so deceived? How could a lying spirit do that much damage? Well, you might say, well, look at Nazi Germany. The liar of all liars said, you know why we lost World War I? You know who the real culprit is? You know why Germany isn't getting ahead? Well, I'll tell you. And after I've come up with the final solution, we will purge them from the face of Europe. And you know what? It was a big lie, but it did a lot of damage. But I want to tell you something. That wickedness only damaged people in this world. But if you take away the saving name, you are damaging people for the Olam Haba. And they will never cross over from this side to that side. There's an abyss. There's a gulf. They can't get over there. And why can they not? Because they believe your lie. Who is a bigger liar than the Crown Heights liars? We know that when he appears, we will be like him because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this, this tikva in him makes himself pure, just as that one is pure. You know, what I'm talking about is Kedusha, sanctification turning from this world to the next, turning away from whatever is impure, whatever contaminates, whatever is displeasing to God. Everyone who commits sin practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared so that he might bear sins away. That's the word, nasa, like a scapegoat of Yom Kippur. He bore away our sins. Look at Isaiah 53. You will see Pesach there. You will see Yom Kippur there. You will see the resurrection there. You will see the glory of the Moshiach's Pesach, Korban, Kippura, his deliverance, his justification, uh, the uh, Avdi Zemach. Uh, yes, that's what he's called. Zechariah 3, 8. Yeshua, Zechariah 6, 11, and 12. My servant, Ezra 3, 8, Yeshua. Yes, by knowledge of him, by knowledge of him, my righteous servant will justify many. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God. Abraham was still a Gentile. He had been an idol worshiper. He had done no mitzvahs. But by faith, God looked at his faith and reckoned righteousness to him. And he became a tzaddik even before he became a Jew. That's found in Horatius chapter 15, verse 6. Now, when I was a child, I would get on my bicycle and go to my slick's grocery store. I would get a quart of milk, some cereal, a loaf of bread. I would go up to the counter. Mr. Myslick would write it down. 
and he trusted my mother that she would come in at the end of the week and pay for whatever had been charged. And so he credited my mother to her account that this would be paid. What did Hashem do with Abraham? He looked at his faith that he had emunah in Hashem and he wrote down that he could trust him and so he credited him as a tzaddik based on a mitzvah? No, based on emunah. Go back and look at Horatius chapter 15 verse 6. My righteous servant will justify many. How will he do it? By faith. Hallelujah. Let no one lead you astray. Crown depths is where people all over the world are being led astray. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, just as that one is righteous. Whoever commits sin is from the slander, from the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. For the Zun Pundar Oyster appeared that he might that he might destroy the works of the slander. No one born of God commits sin because his seed abides in him. Hallelujah. My friend, we have his nature. Why is that? How do we have his nature? Like father, like son. Because we have that holy seed in us. We were born not from the will of a man, but from the will of God. And hallelujah. His seed abides in us. And if we say we know him, then we turn away from sin. Because we've been born of Hashem. By this, the yellow deem of Hashem and the yellow deem of the slander are made manifest. No one who does, no one who does not practice righteousness is of God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, unlike Cain, who was of the wicked one and, and slaughtered his brother Abel, and for that reason, uh, because his works were wicked, but his brother's works were righteous. Do not be amazed, brothers, if the world hates you. Now, we are hated because of what we preach. And my friend, uh, you know, the, uh, the Lord wants you to uh, walk in the light as he is in the light. Hallelujah. And we know that we have passed over from death unto life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And we know that no murderer has Hayyeh Allah in him. In this we know that we know what love is. That the Zun Pun Rogishtra laid down his nefesh, his neshama on our behalf. And we ought to lay down our nefesh, our neshama on behalf of our brothers. And after the suffering of his nefesh, it says Hashem will be satisfied in Isaiah 53. If you don't believe that, then look at Psalm 22. It's the same kind of thing. And the Dead Sea Scroll says, "He, they pierced my hands and my feet. Hallelujah. By this we know that we belong to Ha'emis. And Friend, you do not belong to the truth if you do not speak the truth. We must speak the truth in love. And what is the truth? The truth is the Zunpundar Arbister died 
for the sins of the whole world, not for my sins only, not for your sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. God is not willing that any should perish. He sent the Zun Fundar to purchase our redemption, which was a costly purchase. The little lamb had to pay a very costly price to get you out of Egypt. His blood had to be put on the doorposts. You didn't get out of Egypt without a ransom. You were like somebody kidnapped and the ransom had to be paid to get you free. But it was your own sins that had dragged you away. You were, you were a sinner and no mitzvah could change that. So there had to be a kapora. Without the shedding of blood, there's no, there's no remission of sins. And the kapora that was made was a little lamb. And that was a foreshadow of the ultimate lamb, the Messiah lamb, who would come and die on Pesach 33 CE for you. Hallelujah. And this is the commandment that we should have, Ibunah, in the name of the Zun Funder Oibister, Yahushua, Yeshua, the Ribi Melech Hamoshiach, and that we should love one another just as he gave us a command to do. And whoever keeps his commandments abides in him, and he in that one, and by this we know that he abides in us from the Ruach HaKodesh, which he has given us. Hallelujah. Every spirit that confesses Moshiach ben David, Yeshua, every spirit that confesses that he came in the flesh, that spirit, every spirit like that is from God. So the person making that confession is confessing in God of uh, with a spiritual confession and the spirit behind that confession is Hashem. But every spirit that does not confess Mashiach Yeshua is not from Hashem. Now we're talking about Kabbal Kabbalistic spirits. We're talking about necromancy in old Montefiore Cemetery. We're talking about praying to the dead, talking to the dead. We're talking about conjuring and uh, trafficking in spirits. We're talking about Kabbalah. We're talking about white magic. We're talking about uh, superstition and the demonic. And any spirit that does not confess him is not from Hashem. This is a spirit from the anti-Moshiach. This is a spirit from the from the devil's man, which is, he is the lawless one. He is the Antiochus Epiphanes of the last days. He's the enemy of the Jews. He is the one who set Rome on fire and threw the believers to the wild beasts. He's the one that martyred al Kiddish Hashem, Rav Shaul, who was decapitated by Nero shortly after 64 CE when the fire came to Rome and Nero needed a scapegoat to blame it on. And then, even before that, Kepha was, I'm talking about the lead apostle, Petros, Shimon. He was martyred al Kiddish Hashem, and we have his second epistle, which gives his testimony and his testimonial his last word and testament. And so this, this evil spirit is already in the world. You are from Hashem, little children. 
and have vanquished these demonic powers because the one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. Therefore, they speak from the world and the world listens to them. Oh yeah, you'll find many worldly people who will say, sure, yes. Yes, he must be the Mashiach. I will overlook the fact that he's a dead Brooklyn rabbi. Yes, he must be the Mashiach. We'll, we'll overlook the fact that he's moldering the grave. Yeah, yes, he must be uh, the uh, Moshiach. We'll overlook the fact that, that he doesn't fulfill Psalm 1610 because his body has seen Shahat, which Yeshua's body did not see, according to eyewitness testimony. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go along with that. You see, if you're in the world and you're worldly, you will you will believe what the world tells you because the world loves its own. But we are from God. We are from Hashem. And the one who knows Hashem will listen to us. He who is not from Hashem does not listen to us. From this we know the spirit of Emmas and the spirit of Toyas. And my friend, you have you have a, a spirit of error. You have a spirit of error. Beloved ones, if God loved us so, we ought also to love one another. Should anyone confess that Yeshua is the Zunfun Roibishter? God abides in him and he in God. In love, there is no fear. We love because he first loved us. If anyone should say, I love Hashem and hate his brother or hate anyone made in God's image, he is a liar. Today, we're talking about liars. Who is a bigger liar than the man who says that Moshiach ben David is not the Mashiach? Crown Heights is crown depths, the lowest part of Gehinom, where deception and error is going out to the whole world. It's a place of liars. Everyone who has faith that Yeshua is the Mashiach has been born of God. And everyone who loves the one who engenders love, the one who has been engendered by him. Hallelujah. My friend, we know that we love the children of God when we love Hashem and we carry out his commandments. This is the love of Hashem that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. Because everything that is born of Hashem conquers the world. And this is the victory that has conquered the world. The our emunah. And who is the one who conquers the world, if not the one who has emunah, that Moshe ben Dovid is the Zun Funderoi This is the one who comes through water and blood. Moshiach. Ben David, not by water only, but by water and by blood. And the blood is the blood of the Kippurah. And the spirit is the one that testifies because the spirit is the emus. For those bearing witness are three. The spirit and the water and the blood. And the three are of one accord. If we accept the testimony of human beings, the testimony of Hashem is greater than any human being. This is the testimony that God has attested regarding the Zunfunder Arbister. Whoever has faith in the Zunfunder Arbister has the testimony within him. Whoever does not have Imunah in Hashem has made him out a liar. Now we're talking about making God into a liar. 
turning the Bible into a book of lies. Oh, we don't care what the Bible says. The Bible says the Mashiach's body will not see shahat, corruption. But we don't, we don't believe that. We believe it's possible the Mashiach's body could see corruption and he would still be Mashiach. So we're going to call God a liar. We're going to say, Hashem, your Bible is a, is a pack of lies. And we're going to say, Psalm 1610 is a lie. And we're going to believe what we want to believe. Not what you say, but what we say. Whoever does not have Emunah in Hashem has made him out a liar. You cannot say you believe in Hashem if you don't believe in the Tanakh. If you don't believe in Psalm 1610 or Isaiah 53, if you don't believe in Psalm 22, if you don't believe in Genesis 15, 6, if you don't believe in Daniel 9, uh, 24, 25, and 26, and 27. If you don't believe in Daniel 7, 13, and 14, if you don't believe in Daniel chapter 3, verse 8, if you don't believe that the Bar Enosh uh, would uh, take on flesh in the womb of Alma Virgin, if you don't believe that, and by the way, go to afii.org forward slash capital O, capital J, capital B dot PDF, and look at this uh, Bible and, and look at it in your own Hebrew Tanakh, in your own Humish. And don't call Hashem a liar and don't say his book is a book of lies. Because if you do that, you don't have faith in the testimony that God has attested in regard to his Zun Pundurai Bishter. And this is the testimony that God has given us Haye Olam. And this Haye Olam is in the Zun Pundurai Bishter. Whoever has the Zun Pundurai Bishter has this Hayim. Whoever does not have the Zun Pundurai Bishter does not have this Hayim. I have written these things to you who have Emunah in the name of the Zunfund Orchestra, so that you may know that you have Haye Olam. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything in accord with his will, he hears us. And if we know he hears us, we know that whatever we ask, we have, we have what, he, what we ask of him. If anyone <laughs> will ask, if you will say to Hashem tonight, look, I'm a Jew and I'm going to die a Jew. But if Rabbi Schneerson is not the Moshiach, but Yeshua is, as hateful as that idea is to my family, my wife, my business associates, my shul, my rabbi, everybody I've ever known, and all my family, even if they curse me and renounce me, even if I'm thrown out and I become a community pariah, if I have life, if I have Haye Olam, I may lose my life in this world, but I will gain it for the next. Whoever tries to keep his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will keep it for eternity. Lord, I pray for a great Azusa Street revival to fall on the Hasidim all over the world, starting in Crown Heights. That they will speak in new tongues, that they will prophesy, that they will, that they, that there will be a great move of God with miracles, that there will be preaching, the preaching the truth. Listen, my friend, God spoke and there was light. He spoke the universe into existence. I don't care what people say. It's true. He's the God of eternal life. He's the God of light. He's the God of life. He's the God of Harim. And yes, the Moshiach came back from the dead. And he will judge the living and the dead. There will be a Yom Hadin, and he will be sitting at the judgment tribunal and the sheep will be on this side and the goats will be on this side 
If we confess him before men, he will confess us before his father in heaven. So many times as a street preacher, I've had to pray in the glossolalia before I started preaching. People would come out of their store and say, look, if you're still here in 15 minutes, because I'm getting on my phone right now and calling my buddies, uh, we're going to beat you up. And I would say, and then I would start preaching. Satan, I'm not afraid of you. We are, we are going to win in the end because greater is he who is in us than he who is in you. And the great lie of the devil and the great darkness of that lie will be dispelled by the light because he is the Sar Shalom. He is the light that enlightens every man. He is the light of the world. He is the Or HaOlam. He is Moshiach ben David. He is our savior, the Alenu, Adonenu, Morenu, Elokenu, Ribi, Melech, Hamashiach. And everybody said, Amen.